technology in recent days has reached the peaks and the growth of automation has added more wings to this transformation. From automating a simple unit test to automating the whole business process, technology has augmented its way to the digital era. Hi all, this is Vaishnavi and I welcome you all to this Edureka's YouTube channel. In this module, we are going to compare the two booming automation technologies that has been in the industry for more than a decade. That is robotic process automation and selenium. You might wonder why are they of such great importance? Well, stick on to this video to find out what exactly are their features and how they differ from each other based on certain parameters. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. First, let's start by understanding what is automation and take a real-time example that demonstrates the advantages of it. And then we'll discuss about the different types of automation that exist. And after that, I'll give you a brief introduction to the different forms of automation that is automation testing and business process automation, which are the major fields where one can try to build a career. Okay, so first we'll talk about the automation testing tool that is Selenium and learn its features. Once we're done with that, we'll take a look at the business process automation technology RPA and comprehend how it is used to automate repetitive tasks. Moving further, we'll discuss about the parameters taken into consideration for comparing both Selenium and RPA and talk about the similarities between these tools. And finally, we'll wrap up this session by comparing them based on the parameters that is mentioned above. So that's it about the topics we'll be covering in this session, guys. Now, let's start the session by understanding what is automation. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word automation? Is it a robot or a web service or a file handling function? Technically, all. I will give you a formal definition of what is automation. Automation is something that reduces human intervention to complete a desired task. Now, let's consider this particular example. Suppose you want to pay a bill and the due date is very near, but you are not in a situation where you can physically go there and pay it. As you know, every time you want to make a transaction, you need to add in some details so that the system acknowledges that it's a genuine user and not a malfunction. It is obvious, guys. Who is ready to go there, stand in the queue, fill in the forms and then pay the bill, right? Technology has improvised so much that there is an option called automatic bill payment where the amount to be paid is directly deducted from the respective account and the user can pick a date in that month letting the firm know that they can process the transaction on that given date. Isn't it interesting guys, the way automation has evolved? All right, so now that you've understood what is automation, let's try to understand the different types of automation that exists. There are basically three types of automation depending on the process which the user defines. They are fixed automation, programmable automation and flexible automation. Let's start off with understanding what is fixed automation. Fixed automation is nothing but the sequence of various operations that remains fixed and cannot be scheduled or customized by the user. This type of automation is mainly used in the mechanical industry to carry out a desired job. So that's it about fixed automation guys. Let's take a look at the programmable automation. Programmable automation can be used to change the sequence of any operation based on the requirements specified by the user. It has made it to the front end of the user interface by providing various options to the user to edit the sequence as per their requirements. Now. Let's discuss about flexible automation. Flexible automation can inherit both fixed as well as programmable automation. It has the ability to produce a variety of sequences that are not just limited to one static type of automation. Now that you've understood the different types of automation, let me quickly introduce you to the automation testing suit, Selenium, and talk about the importance of this tool. Any software or application that is being developed needs to be tested thoroughly to ensure that the system does not break down under a given circumstance. So what is testing? Testing basically refers to the process of evaluating the functionality to make sure that the system works fine and helps in detecting the errors. You might ask, which form of testing do I prefer? Let me answer this for you guys. Automation testing is more preferred over manual testing because it reduces the errors that occur during the simulation of the process. 
Now let's start off with understanding what is Selenium. Selenium as you all know is an automation tool that is used to test web applications. You might think it is just a testing tool. Why is it of such great importance? Why not the other tools that help in testing? The answer to this would be it is because Selenium makes the process relatively easy by providing valuable functionalities and libraries that helps in testing any software or web application. Selenium is an open source portable framework used to automate the test cases in a web application. It can be run on different browsers like Chrome, Safari, Opera, Explorer and so on and supports cross browsing too. Talking about the languages that are used to write the test scripts, Selenium supports different programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, etc. But the most commonly used language among these would be Java because of its user friendly behavior. Now, let's talk about the license of this tool. Is it free of cost or is it a paid version? All right, guys, Selenium is free of cost. The user does not have to pay for any of the versions of this tool. The latest version available in the market is Selenium 3.1. To get an end to end guidance on how to set up Selenium on your system, refer the link that is put up in the description of this video. Now, let's talk about the features of Selenium. Selenium is highly flexible when it comes to functional and regression testing. Functional testing helps in testing the software against the business requirements and ensures that there are no defects in the system. And regression testing helps in re executing the tests against the modified application. That's it about Selenium, guys. Now, let's move on to understand what is robotic process automation, commonly called RPA. RPA is a business automation technology used to automate the repetitive tasks that are time consuming and boring. Tasks like data entry calculations are very tedious and try to take most of our time which gradually decrease the productivity and result in the downfall of an organization. Now if we try to complete the same task by automating it the time taken to finish the task is reduced. The rate of productivity increases and the number of errors are reduced. RPA was coined with the vision of empowering business users to create software bots that would interact with the system just like humans. It is a combination of artificial intelligence and automation. Now you might ask which programming language should I learn in order to work on RPA? Well, the answer to this would be none. RPA runs on the end user's PC. Programming the software is not required as RPA deals with the database and problem solving capability. So the organizations worldwide are transforming to this new technology because of its various advantages. That's it about RPA guys. Now let's take a look at the similarities between Selenium and RPA. Selenium and RPA both are automation tools used to automate a task. Selenium automates web applications and RPA automates business processes. Both these tools are rule based. By rule based, I mean they follow a set of procedures to automate any given task. Now, let's look at the parameters that will be taken into consideration for comparing the two automation giants. First, I will compare them with the type of automation that takes place, then the cost of these tools, then move on to the programming knowledge required to run the test cases, their life cycle, their platform dependency, the components used to automate a task, the level of automation that takes place and the use case of automation. Let's get it started by comparing the type of automation. Selenium supports programmable automation whereas RPA supports flexible automation. Programmable automation can be used to change the sequence of any operation based on the user requirements. Whereas flexible automation is a hybrid of fixed and programmable automation. Now let's talk about the cost of these tools. Selenium is an open source tool used to automate web applications whereas RPA has a set of tools like UiPath, Automation Anywhere and Blue Prism. Among these UiPath is free for community edition and the advanced versions are licensed. Whereas Automation Anywhere gives you a free trial for a month and the advanced versions are licensed as well. Coming to Blue Prism, Blue Prism is completely licensed guys. Talking about the programming knowledge required, 
Selenium does require the knowledge of Java to run any test case, whereas RPA does not require any coding knowledge as it deals with the backend processes and the database operations. What is their life cycle? How do they differ based on this parameter? Let's take a look, guys. The life cycle of Selenium is a little complicated compared to that of RPA. Selenium deals with test planning, generating basic test cases, enhancing the cases, running and debugging the tests, and analyze and report defects. Whereas RPA deals with just four processes that is, analysis, bot development, testing, and support and maintenance. Now, let's talk about their platform dependency. Selenium can be run on different browsers and it can test only the web applications. No mobile or desktop applications can be tested using Selenium. Whereas RPA can run on any platform, be it web, mobile or desktop applications. Now, let's talk about the major component used by these tools to automate a task. Selenium uses web drivers to automate any task. This is a simplified view of Selenium web driver. Test scripts written in any programming language can be invoked by the system and is automated using Selenium web driver that can run on different browsers like Chrome, Safari, Mozilla and so on. Whereas RPA makes use of robots to complete a task. Consider the situation where you need to enter data from different sources and you have a time constraint of several minutes. How would you do that? The smart answer would be by automating it guys. RPA bots help in automating the data from different sources and saves it in the form of an Excel file where you can find the data in a sequence. Now, let's talk about the level of automation that takes place. Selenium does not automate any clerical processes. It automates functional regression and performance testing. Whereas RPA automates all clerical processes like data entry, calculations and so on. Now let's talk about the use case of automation or where does the automation takes place. Selenium works on the front end of the process whereas RPA works on the back end. Selenium can test only the current web page whereas RPA deals with the processes that are time consuming. This is how the data is stored onto the database. The browser details are sent via the web server and is stored in a sequence onto the database. So that's it about the parameters to compare both Selenium and RPA. Now let's talk about the most commonly asked question about Selenium and RPA. What if I try to use RPA as a testing tool? Any answers? Okay, so I'll answer this for you guys. I would say both Selenium and RPA help in delivering automation solutions. Talking about using it as a testing tool, it can be used to test web applications, but it is not recommended. Let me talk about the practical aspect that resists RPA from being a test machine. RPA is not directly applied to the product, but it is applied to the processes associated with the business environment, whereas Selenium completely depends on the product for testing a case. And about Selenium as RPA, Selenium cannot be used as RPA because it does not automate business processes. So that's it about Selenium versus RPA guys. If you want to learn more about Selenium web driver and RPA tools, don't forget to take a look at the Edureka's YouTube channel and check out Selenium and RPA playlist. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!